Yo, so we're in kingdom war against this old ass kingdom. Why we are even like, I don't know, it just doesn't make any sense to me. That's a glitch right there because um, that dude been, unless, well, oh, maybe he's just been traveling there for a long time. But yeah, anyway, this, Beko just posted something. And this doesn't make any sense to me. And I've been seeing, I've been seeing them do it a lot. And it's a lot of people that's doing it. A lot of legendaries, especially. Why? Like, why are his infantry 360? Not too bad. But why would you send a full fucking dispatch of nothing but T10 infantry, which are made for defense? Why do they do this? Like, if like someone, if someone has been successful. And doing this, please let me know. But I've not seen one person attack with T10 infantry, legendary or not, legendary two, three, whatever, and been successful. This makes no sense to me. I don't, I don't get it. Why do they do this? Like you would be better off attacking with T9 infantry, not T10. It doesn't make any sense to me. Just because your infantry is 360 and your highest troop a tier for infantry is t10 doesn't mean that you should be attacking with these fucking defensive troops now back to my rant on the game and it just grows back to show you what i was talking about earlier why the hell are we being matched up against um this old ass kingdom it doesn't make any sense to me nothing it like it makes no it makes no sense whatsoever but, you know, whatever, I'm going to just, I don't know. The shit just don't make no sense to me. So, I guess we're going to try to take the throne here. We are, like, super just outgunned, outmanned. And this is what I'm talking about while I watch this. And I'm just going to go to the ranking system. Now, I'm sure that they all gathered into one alliance, but this is not my point. My point is, look at their members. Look at this. You see nothing but L2s, L1s, L3s. Like, who thought this was a good idea? I don't fuck with nobody. Say, oh, you should. Like, this can't have been up. My can't have been up, what, five, six months? If that. Yeah, it's been up. And it's been up at least five months. This kingdom has been up. It's 134. This kingdom has been up at least a year and a half. Now, you tell me, with them spending like they spending, and with them just, with them being so freaking old and having all this time, why the hell would it make any sense to match, match, I just don't get it. Why are we getting messed up against them? But you know, whatever, I've done, I've done nothing. I mean, to be honest with you, I've done really nothing. I haven't attacked much. I might have one dude attack me like an idiot and he lost, but you know, he, he urgent care. So it's all good. He just lost a dispatch. He didn't do much damage to me, even if he did, would have, you know, did some damage. He didn't do much. He only killed 33k. But it just it just goes to show you how, and you're looking at all these people. Now, I know my defense infantry is you know, 279, 248. It could be up there, 235, my war machine. I try to get everything over 200. Now, my archers are kind of lacking on that. They're like one right at one ninety, but you know whatever. Less again for me to be not spending a lot of money. I think that's pretty okay. But as far as just me looking at how people play this game, it's kind of frustrating. Oh, hold on, it's kind of frustrating because all of like the big attacks, as you can see, like with this guy, they focus on nothing but infantry and cavalry. And then even his cavalry ain't even that good. Um, but then you look at war machines and all this other stuff. Like it's just it's bad. Like why do why do people just focus on nothing but infantry and cavalry? I guess whatever. But I don't know. It just doesn't make any sense to me. It's like they forget everything else but infantry and cavalry. And I guess it works. It works. But well, if you come across somebody that you know has like really good archers or or I don't know. Like with the people that's um you can't attack someone with good infantry defense if your siege is trash. That doesn't make any sense to me. 
Like, you'll lose. Like, you handicapped at that point because you focus on nothing but fucking cavalry and infantry. Unless your infantry is so much more superior than the other person's, you're going to lose. Like, the percentages on this game, the way it works, and it's very stupid. It doesn't make any sense sometimes. But I, I just don't get, like, half the shit that goes on in this game, to be honest with you. And I guess I'll just help back out. Well, never mind. That's too late. That's what I get from making the video and uh, instead of um helping. I guess he just pulled out because. Let me see. <laughs> oh yeah, he just pulled out of the cannon. Well, yeah, because I don't think he lost any power. <sighs> Damn, he lost a lot of power. He was he started off at forty mil. I just wish I had the freaking troops, man. Cause I mean, ten million power. I start off with eleven mil. We end up losing the defense. Um, we was defending this turret up here and lost it. I show y'all that battle report. And this is what Becco was defending with. <laughs> So the King's buff has done him good. I mean, he has 400% attack cavalry. The defense is good. Now, his defense on his cavalry is good regardless, regardless without the King buff. Um. So, yeah, I mean, he, he, he's getting better. He's really, he's really getting better. I mean, he's the spender in the kingdom, so he's going to pull a lot of the load, and we, we try our best to do, you know, help him out or whatever. But... He's gonna have to focus on more than just his um more than just his cavalry. The cavalry just ain't gonna get it if like your siege or whatever is just not good. I mean not your siege, but your infantry is uh not there to complement it. 